Welcome to the season one finale of the Kai Talks podcast. We have a lot to cover, so let's cut to the chase. It's been an incredible journey filled with inspiring guests, lessons learned, plenty of laughter. Oh, and how can I forget about the weird jelly beans along the way? To get this party started, I have brought my usual ride or dies here with me, my perpetual assistants, and my biggest supporters, my parents. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for having us, Caillou. Hi. Roll call. Dad JP, Mom, and Dad Thomas. Present. Presente. Dad, Mom, assistant manager. Dad JP. Assistant manager. Assistant, assistant manager. Wow. I'm your intern. Dad, intern at the moment. <laughs> unpaid intern. Unpaid intern. Wow. <laughs> You're all unpaid. <laughs> we know. I think I actually paid to be an intern. <laughs> yes, exactly. Worse than being unpaid, unpaid is intern. paying part, to unpaid be. Unpaid intern, do you understand? Oh, gosh. So, so yeah, Caillou. We, yep. Guess what? What? On this episode of Caillou Talks, the tables have turned. We talk about the tables right here. The table's going to turn. It's going to turn really quickly, so quickly you might not even see it. So I'm going to finally get the flat part of the table? No, you're not, but you're going to get a question. <laughs> so this is our opportunity as your perpetual assistants mm-hmm. mm-hmm. to ask you questions. Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> We're going to make Caillou talk. Dun, dun, dun. Can you <laughs> handle it? I'm up for the challenge, Father. Okay, good. First question. <laughs> Shoot. We filmed and taped and recorded and produced a lot of episodes for the first season of Caillou Talks. Yes. Give me your top three episodes. Mm, that's going to be a hard question, Dad, because I like all the episodes. But if I had to pick, I would choose AJ Galante, Alex Vachetti, and Melvet. Those are my top three. But like I said, I like all the episodes. What about us? Do you like our episodes? Especially yours. <laughs> yours is a super secret, super duper favorite. Wow, okay. That's why I didn't even mention that. <laughs> you nice. see, I have... The, the reason why I didn't mention that is because I have a super secret favorite spot that only I know. Okay, just just for the record, ours was one of the most popular episodes. The second That's why we're most back. popular. Second most popular. Let's be, stay on topic. Next question. Well, what what about you guys? What are some of the favorite episodes? What are your favorite episodes, Thomas? Yes. Um, I I really liked your episode with Alex Vachetti. I do too because he was like, he was an autistic person and. I really bonded with him. He was a very good person, and I felt like I felt a, a connection between me and Alex. I really loved his when I looked when I when I talked about his book, The Blonde Haired Angel. I felt I felt like a connection between that book and, and myself. And who would be like that angel in your life? How, what's the parallel? Oh, really? Because, huh. Yeah. And so for the viewers and people listening at home, Caillou just pointed to his mom. Yeah. Mm. So I'm your I'm your angel. Who, yeah. who does have blonde hair. And she does have blonde hair, yes. Kind of. But yes. All right. So, Mom, <laughs> what is your favorite episode out of all of the great episodes? But wait, 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 wait. So, Dad Thomas, what did you, what did you like the most about that episode? Um... One of the things I really loved about the episode was seeing you have so much fun interacting with Alex Mm -hmm. and the conversation that you had with him. I actually, you would, I would think that I know all there is to know about you, but I actually learned new things, like new things and new feelings and new thoughts that you had and watching you speak to another person diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder um, and learning from that person, you know, I thought was just a blast for me to watch. And also just because Alex is just a really nice guy. And I thought the two of you had so much in common to, and to talk about. And that's one of my favorite. Re- that's one of the reasons why it's one of my favorite episodes. Yeah, Dad. Yeah, that's you see, I understand what you're saying, because I thought that I already know about myself a couple of years back. 
And but still, I continue changing and continue surprising not just you guys but mm -hmm. myself, honestly too. Mm -hmm. And and Dad JP, what about yes. You? So it's tough. Um, out of all I the have, great episodes, out of I, all the greats, yes. I mean, some I were I was very very impressed with, but I have to say that some of the moments that stood out for me the most, the first one was the very first episode. In fact, before we even started recording Caillou Talks. I was really nervous that you were going to be able to be there. You were going to be present, that you were going to be the personality that we rehearsed. And when we were driving here to the studio, I was like, I'm not sure if this is going to work. I'm not sure if Caillou is going to show up in the way that I know he can. And we got out of the car. It was a snowy day. And as we're getting out of the car, here comes AJ Galante getting out of the car. Do you remember that moment? Because you looked at AJ and you said, AJ, my man, yeah. how's it going, brother? Yeah, and you were like, and then excited. AJ, and then AJ goes, Caillou, Caillou Ninja, how you doing? You guys high fived, you hugged, and we walked upstairs, and I said, eh, Caillou's gonna be just fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As a caveat, though, I think it's because, you know, you, for most of the folks that are listening and haven't been following Caillou for a long time, right? You started this journey with me in our basement during the pandemic. We started a one little video to show the family that you were understanding what was happening during COVID. We started doing your show called Caillou Ninja News. And if you guys want to see some of this cuteness, it's still on his YouTube channel. CNN Mom. And Mom. It is. It's, a, it's adorbs. Mm -hmm. um, and so we started doing that. And eventually, at episode 41, because we were doing episodes every week, you were picked up by um, HBO last week's Tonight, John Oliver's show. Noted strong Liverpool supporter, John Oliver. Yes, very important detail, Dad Thomas. Um, so, because you defended Danbury's honor, you talked about your, your home city, you talked about how great it was, they picked up a clip, they put it on their show, and um, it, you you were kind of like a little bit of this wave of a symbol of people standing out for Danbury for um, a couple of months during the pandemic. And it was a very pleasant and welcome distraction for everyone in a community, I think. So we are, were used to you being just you and the camera. So when we created the podcast together with you, because you're the one who approached us and said that you wanted to try to be um, out there again in the community and have a show, we came up with this idea of doing interview style so that you can also work on a skill that wasn't your strongest skill, which was having conversations back and forth with people, right? Because as someone who's autistic, um, the way that autism shows up for you is that sometimes it's hard for you to maintain a conversation if the topic is not a topic that you picked. So um, I think that some of that JP's fears around how is this format going to work for you is because of that. Because you were used to being on camera, just you and the camera, but not being on camera with other people. But so can I finish my thought? Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. That was a great interjection. That okay. was great. We have a loved, uh, awkward, awkward moment in in between mom and dad here. Not at all. Not at all. That was called. That was called a sideline, right? It was called like it's a, called making a it better. Yeah. Yes. It's called, you know, it was an enhancement. Okay, okay, thank you. Is, we have a sideline moment. Scratch that. Not awkward moment. Sideline moment with them. So that was probably the moment I remember the most. But overall, I think that having been here for almost every episode, having um, seen them, having listened to them, I think overall the theme that I picked up after all of season one was be yourself and do the best you can. And every person who came here gave some version of that, right? James Oates, who came here from uh, England to be a, a soccer coach. Um, the mayor of Danbury, Mayor Alves, he spoke about being yourself and working hard. Uh, Fire Chief Jermaine Atkinson came here and talked about working hard, persevering, and pushing through. Former Mayor Dean Esposito came here and talked about what it was to make connections with people and be yourself and make friends. I mean, there were so many people. Shaylin Reyes, the, the uh, USB mm -hmm. CEO, talked about his journey. Uh, there were so many people that came 
and brought so many different perspectives and viewpoints Mm -hmm. on their lives, on their successes and their challenges. So in the theme of turning the tables, instead of Caillou Talks, how well did Caillou listen? What did you learn from all of those experiences? Well, Dad, those experiences, they're not, they're, it's not, it's complicated. It's a very complicated experience I had. Each and every, I can't tell of one same experience I made to all those people. They were, each of them were so different. Each of them gave, gave out a different personality and a different impact in my, in my own personality. And... I don't think Kai Talks would have been this great without these wonderful people. Mm-hmm. I think you're right. Yeah. I think you're absolutely yeah. right. Yeah. But overall, like, did you, what did you get? Like, did you, did you see the thread of everyone kind of going through something? Like, how did you? I felt like when I, when I was, you know, that, that kind of takes me back to a, to a reminder of my life. See, when I was very young, I used to thought that I only had my own challenges in my own life. We were there. We saw it. Yeah. But then, <laughs> well, the viewers haven't. The viewers haven't. Isn't that right? Because she said, like, when I was very young. So it's yeah. like, we, we've been there since the beginning. But, go ahead. but the viewers were not there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so as I was saying, serious moment here, fellas. So when I was very young, I was, uh, I used to believe I had my own challenges mm-hmm. and no one else had. But when I grew younger, not just through Caillou Talks, but as a person, I also realized that, all, that we all have our own challenges. Mm-hmm. We all have our own hard challenges that we need to go through in our lives. Mm-hmm. You, me, everyone, we mm-hmm. all have our own difficulties through life. Mm-hmm. And, I, and, and also through the podcast, I, for all these ama- wonderful people I had the chance to mm-hmm. talk to, which I'm extremely grateful for, it made me understand myself better as a person in general. Mm. I so, like that. Well, I'm what I'm trying to say here is that I would never have been the Caillou in this world without these wonderful people, including you guys. So that's so thank you. So thank you for all you guys and thank you for you. Because if it weren't for you, for every single one of you in this room and all the guests. I would have never been the amazing person I was right now. Am. That yeah. you are. I you am. Are. The amazing yes. person that you are. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, thank well, you. Kind of, I think that's a great yeah. answer to the question, but the one person who hasn't answered yet is, is mom. So, so, mom, the elusive question is, out of all of the great, amazing question, amazing episodes, episodes that we have mm-hmm. ever had, what is yours? Hmm. It is a tough question because I'm very grateful to everyone that accepted to come in as a guest and sit down with you because, again, our goal with this was to create a learning experience for you, not just on building a skill, but also for you as, as a person, uh, you know, to build your character. Um, so I'm really grateful to all the guests. But I think that the guests that I identify the most with and I've listened to the episode a couple of times already, was actually in Lovette Hill. Um, you know, what she talked about being a servant leader and incorporating your faith in what you do and not necessarily like working as a pastor or working within a church structure, but really that we can all be examples where we work and lead with compassion and serve others and be proud to serve others um, and find our purpose and our mission in life, I think is something that I always strive to do. So I was really touched by that. And I think that the way they interacted with Melvette when she was saying some of these things also made me really proud because you really enjoyed listening to some of the lessons that she was sharing with the world. And I could see how you were also internalizing them. So, but. I'm grateful to every guest. It's been quite the journey for the three of us to embark with you. And, you know, you're 12 years old, and this is a big project. So we're also incredibly proud of you for doing this. Well, guys, well, first of all, thank you for all of that. 
and I really appreciate your your proudness in me. And like I said before, I wouldn't be the amazing person that I am right now if it weren't for all of you guys. And I am truly grateful for that. And all and I also love the episode of Velvet too. It was very amazing. And also, if you all, if you all haven't watched it, or some people haven't watched it, I, re I truly recommend it. It's a very amazing episode. It's about how Melvet Hill became a servant leader. And to those who doesn't know what a servant leader is, is someone that serves people and leads them to a bright future. That's basically what it is. A leader that serves others. Mm -hmm. And that episode, we're trying, we were trying to discuss to Melvet Hill how was she a servant leader. And that episode was truly... It was truly changing for me. Ever the moment that was that episode was over, I was a changed person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was very impactful. It was very impactful, and I was in the room and I could see how you were being impacted as it was happening. So, um, yeah, that's why that one's gonna be a very special memory. But you know, you had so much fun with AJ, so much fun with Alex. You had so much fun doing the Bean Challenge with Dean. You had um, a lot of fun also in our episode. I think it was a mm -hmm. great opportunity for the three of us to sit together and share with our family and our friends and people that know us, like our story and mm -hmm. how we're all working together. Um, so it's it's been a journey, but it's been great. Yes. And also, before we forget, since this is the final end, since the final episode of season one, we're going to we're going to recap on the elusive be mean bean challenge. Is where the oh. guest of the entire podcast and me, the host, gets to do the mean bean challenge and taste disgusting jelly beans that may or may not be delicious. So question for you. Yes. Out of all of the mean bean challenges you have done, mm -hmm. you've eaten a lot of disgusting jelly beans. I have on a food I, store. I understand that. Um, but what guest stood out the best, whether it was because they did something funny or because they couldn't take it. Which guest stood out to you as the most entertaining Mean Bean Challenge? Jermaine. He was the only person that put up an actual fight. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else quit? Everyone else either puked or spit their jelly bean. Okay, for the record, no one, no one actually <laughs> threw up. No, they just spit it no, out. No yeah. guests were harmed in the taping of any of these episodes. No, hey, no, thank no, you, no. thank you, Attorney no, Lee, for that clarification. <laughs> <Thank> no <laughs> stomachs were harmed. Well, legal department over challenge. here yeah. clarifying exactly. things. We, we, we cleared everything through legal first. Yes. That's very good. But honest, but... We, but I'm just gonna tell you viewers some very sad news. That this season, we are discussing to not continue the Mean Bean Challenge on season two. So are you saying for season two, the Mean Bean Challenge will be retired? Yes. Wow. I know it's gonna be very hard for all you viewers who love to see people spit out jelly beans and say <laughs> and, ha and have disgusting faces. But we're going to go out with a bang. Because this Mean Bean Challenge will, is going to get a little bit, dare I say, spicy. Yes, that's mm. true. If, if, can I mm. just add one more thing before we continue on to the, to the final segment? Of course, Dad. Right. Absolutely. Um, you know, Caillou, I, I watched you taped a bunch of episodes. I think this is what, this, this 22nd time we're sitting down to record an episode? Yes. And, um, and... And then I've seen you go from when you were making just your own videos and the, the John Oliver, you know, experience as well. Um, but one of the things that I was, I've talked to you about, and we've all talked to you about our, our, our childhoods and whatnot. But one of the things that I really wanted just to say to you, um, you know about how I struggled as a, as, a, as a kid. Yes. And that there were, through the process of you being diagnosed, um, there were a lot of things I learned about myself. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I'm so grateful for is um, is watching you go through this experience and seeing you experience these things and grow through a lot of the challenges you've had since you were a baby to now um, has really shown me a lot in terms of how to deal with challenges that I have, you know, whether it comes to like my own neurodivergence or things that I struggle with. Um, seeing you go through this process as a young person has really been really helpful and inspiring to me to really you know, get, get through these things or understand these things better. And really, you know, it's, 
it's helped me a great deal as well. So I guess my question to you then would be, if there is a, something that you wanted to impart upon your viewers and your listeners as, as, a, as a, a lesson that you learned, you know, what would that lesson be? Mm. If there's one lesson I learned for all of this is that we're all different and we all have our different personalities, but the biggest thing of all is that we all share a different impact in our own community. We all share a different impact in all of our loved ones and all of our family and friends because that was what we were made to do, to impact the entire world in a positive way. God sure sent us all of here for one mission, to share our love in an impacting way. That's why I believe we were sent here to do. That's why I believe is our mission. And this is how I complete my own mission, to share my impact and to share my stories and to share my guest stories so that my viewers will also be inspired to share that positively throughout the world. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's amazing. And yeah. so as a, as a dovetail to Dev Thomas's point, um, as we take this you know, break between season one and season two, what are your plans to keep your audience engaged? What is your, what is your plan to keep that inspiration going? Because... I know there are a lot of people out there that, that love hearing from you and hearing the tidbits of wisdom or the Caillou wisdom that you just imparted to us. So before, before that, though, before we start talking about the future, I have one more question about the show. Of course. Of course. Tell me, Mom. What has it been like for you as a kid to be a podcast host? Like, oh. what, is, is it easy? Absolutely not. It's, it's, it's difficult. <laughs> no, no. I'm like not how saying, much work goes into the podcast? Not just it's not just as for me, but the entire team has to work very hard too. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just difficult work. It's not as easy as it looks. It's it's a, like it's not just talking to people and and filming stuff. It takes a lot of hard work just to prepare for one episode. But the one thing that makes me keep doing this, and the one thing that makes me this super rewarding, is for like three reasons. One is because I know that. Is that I, every time I listen to these people, I get this inspirational feeling and impacting feeling in my heart, and it just makes me feel so happy. Mm -hmm. And the second reason is that I know that all my viewers out here are going to witness that feeling, experience it, mm -hmm. and share, and maybe share it throughout the entire world. And the third reason is that all my loved ones and all my friends and family are going to witness this too, and are going to feel my passion and my life's work. Mm -hmm. And that, that's why I love to do it, do this. This, is, this. this feels like my passion. This feels like my life work. This feels like my own legacy. Ooh. Wow. Oh, wow. That's pretty wow. deep for a 12-year-old. Wow. Woo. Yeah. You can talk about the future now, then, GP. <laughs> after that. Speaking of legacy. Yeah, after that right. inspirational TED Talk over here. Yeah, so I like what's, that. So what's, uh, let me ask you a question that you've asked others. What? What's next for Caillou Talks? Well, so I'm going to talk this to you and all and everyone that's listening to this. Team Caillou Talks, is what we're going to call it from now on, is, going, is working on new ways to make this more interesting and make this more engaging for our viewers and help and maybe help bring in new ones. We're working on making videos on TikTok, social media. We're working on new ideas and new, and new opinions to improve Caillou Talks so that maybe one day this could spread globally, worldwide. That Ooh. is one of my many goals and hopes. A Caillou Talks takeover. Is that I hope that this this podcast... So many C's and T's. That this, <laughs> that this podcast can take, can take air from the United States to Europe to Asia and everywhere. To, to everywhere across Africa. the entire world. Mm -hmm. Because I have fam... Because I have families... I have families across the world. Korea, families, right? Yeah. This guy over here started it. <laughs> Brazilian I'm not families. not sure he started it, but he's part of it. Yeah. Brazilian <laughs> families, Polish families. <laughs> I am from multiple types of families. and yeah. All half, over the world. And yeah. half of them are in this room. And half of them, and half of these parts are in this room right now. That's a lot of math. <laughs> it's a lot. Yes. A lot of math. But, um... I think that one interesting thing that's going to happen, right, Caillou, 
is that you have decided to have some co-hosts? Yes. Who and now let me tell you that quickly. Who are okay. these co-hosts? Who are these co-hosts? Hmm. How'd you manage to get such talent? <laughs> we managed to get this talent through me being bored by you guys. Because <laughs> let's just say that you guys got permanently hired. Okay. So I'm not an intern anymore? No, you are a co-host. Okay. Congratulations, okay. but you're still unpaid. Still okay. Un- so who are the co-hosts? You guys. Okay. So oh. are you saying that next season... For each episode, one of us will be your co-host? Correct. You, one of you guys, will get the honor of being my co-host <laughs> once every single episode. You we might be my co-host. Honor. And you, and you, and that's it. <laughs> wow. wow. That, you get a co-host. You, you get, get a co-host. co-host. You get a co-host. I'm and not, that's it. <laughs> I'm not sure Caillou understands the Oprah reference there, but that's okay. Uh, we'll talk about that. After the show wraps. But seriously, yeah. let's get. I'm gonna. I'm gonna continue. What I'm gonna say and get real here. And you see, as I could say, I have families from across the entire world, and they all had different cultures that impacted me in a very great way. And turns and in, in each step turns me into the amazing person that I am. And and that's why I want to share it just to more families and more friends across the entire globe, so that their families will know what it feel will know what it feels to be inspired the way I do. And if they do, then they get to feel it again. So, Kai, one of the reasons you asked us to do seasons um, is also so that we can always start Kai Talks on a very important month for you, which is April. Can you share with everybody a little bit about why that's so important for you? Yes. It's because it is World Autism Day on April 2nd, 2025. We're we don't just stop to to just not just be aware of autism, but also accept it. Because as a fellow autistic person, I would love for you to accept all of my autistic brothers and sisters and not just be aware of their autism, but also accept them and welcome them to your community and your lives. And if you would do that, we would all be so grateful. And we would all, and we will all thank you for that for accepting us into your lives, into your community, and into your world. Because we have the right to live here as much as all of you guys do. And some people do not notice that. Yeah, Yeah. I know. And it hurts all of our feelings. So if you would open us all to your hearts, we would deeply appreciate and thank you for that. I know. And I'm so glad that you have been so comfortable with talking about your autism so publicly and I'm sure that many people appreciate that you that you're brave and that you do that so they can give others strength to ask for acceptance someone has to set example for all to all my autistic people to speak up for ourselves there are many leaders right but I I like that you're taking that leadership role as well it makes me very proud leader who wants to serve yeah and I think a big part of season one especially towards the beginning of season one was you Mm -hmm being vulnerable and you talking about the experiences you received as an autistic person, both positive and negative. You had an entire episode about bullying where you got a little emotional and you talked about some of those negative experiences, right? And we talked about the fact that that was part of your journey, but also if you can look back on it, do you think that that was an experience that maybe you needed to have in order to grow as an autistic individual? Mm -hmm. Yes. I think that, you know, from what I've seen and what I've learned from you is, is that you've been able to feel those feelings. And even though you're sad and maybe a little angry and upset and disappointed, I've seen you turn those feelings into positivity by explaining how you feel, explaining your experiences, and then sharing them with the world, frankly, And hopefully that changes someone's mind along the way. And if everyone in this world, because there's so much suffering, if everyone in this world could turn negativity into positivity, this world would be such an amazing place. Yes, it shall and it will, one step at a time. One person at a time. So I had one more question, guys. I'm not sure if you guys... No, no, no. I don't have another question? You don't have another question. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. Wait, no, I veto. 
that time to have another question. You can have another question. Gen but Z what about that? A lot of questions. <laughs> guys, guys, Van guys, GP is too guys, curious. guys, <laughs> guys, guys. Yes. Honestly, I don't think it's fair. Since a dad has a question, let him have the question. Okay, go ahead. It's a pretty simple question. Of course, yes, it's simple. Just make it quick so that dad can share his, okay? Thank you. For season two, if you could pick any guest to have Who's on. going to be my question? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. You can ask it. This will be okay. the, this would be the dad JP fusion. Then, yeah. yeah, we'll just ask it together. If you could have any guest on, who would it be? Huh. John Oliver. John Oliver, yes. Why? Because I can show him my success and say, <laughs> now do you think that Dan Murray is, is not telling the railroad? The railroad? So you want revenge. After all this positive talk. No, cl cl close the circle. We want to close the circle. We want to... I'm still holding a grudge about that. <laughs> I'm still holding a grudge about that relevant pain, okay? Four years later. <laughs> Four years later, a, a war is happening between Caillou and John Arf. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> well, Dan Thomas, do you have any other questions? Um, no, I... You know, Caillou, I, I just... This has been something that I never imagined would be po possible starting in with an iPhone in in your in your bedroom or you know talking about you know news updates you know and with Coyote Ninja News CNN for short you know and here we are in a professional studio um, you know doing professional level work interviewing you know very interesting important guests. So we have here the, the Mean Bean Challenge, but it's a little bit of a, 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 a twist, if you will. Yes. Uh, this spicy. is the, the Mean Bean Challenge Spicy Edition. So I'm, I'm led to believe that spicy. there is a variety of spices spicy. or spi a heat level. <laughs> you guys are killing me. <laughs> uh, Let's just I'll, eat a jelly you know, bean so, get so this I over just, with. <laughs> you would think, you know, Having been raised on kimchi, I would be okay with this, but I'm I'm a little nervous. So spicy. Let's just eat the just eat the pepper, guys. He wants to get this over the list. So who's who's gonna go? Kai, you gonna go first? I'll try it. All right, we're gonna go first. Uh, which one's the less spicy? Okay, Maybe just There's only one, one way to find out. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, that one has spots on it. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna try to narrate this for our viewers listening to the podcast. He's trying because confusion. Yeah. He's trying. He's chewing. No, he's he, making just a frowny him. face. It just hit him. He's trying to be tough. He's trying and to tough it out. It. Now, Caillou loves your beer, and we have told Caillou that if he, if he taps out, he doesn't get to drink the whole bottle of root beer. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, my God. Yeah. I can smell it. Ooh. I can smell so, spice. Yeah. Yeah. So he is now cheering because he, I've seen this look of this. <laughs> I've seen this look. Oh yeah. Dad Thomas, this is the look of yeah. someone who's eaten 10 Takis. Yeah. Because this is the same look I got on Wednesday of last week. Whew. All right. Okay, he is stoic. He has accomplished that first bean. Who's going next? I will. <laughs> I'll, I'll go because it's going to be less exciting. Okay. <coughs> okay, oh, so no. mom is taking one. She has grabbed it's, the jalapeno it's, it's mean bean. Oh, not that one. She's going Definitely for the green probably because she likes vegetables. I can tell you this is a mistake. <laughs> she instantly regrets this. Now, decision. I will say in oh full context... <laughs> In full context, she does do not it. like spicy wait, things. Wait, I got the caramel reaper, I right? I think she, we she have is, our first casualty. She she is she is nope. spitting. Yep. She spit. All right. <laughs> she is <laughs> give us your reaction, please. Yeah. Come to the mic please. and give us your reaction. I'm dying. <laughs> hey, you got lucky. Uh, I got the hottest one. Uh, I think that was the caramel reaper. Caramel reaper? That sounds caramel delicious. <laughs> Can I that sounds, Carolina? All right. Okay, but can I borrow your root beer? I will say no. that, that, oh God. that as someone sitting right next to mom as she ate that, her nose is leaking. Yep. Okay, oh we God. have we have nasal leakage. <sighs> I don't suggest you touch Guys, your eyes. It, can spitting yep. can so, spitting Okay, is, Dad Thomas, your turn or can I spit me? Out? Let me go. Let can me I go. Spit, you wanna please? go? Let me go. Just All right. choose one you don't for have me. It? I want can you to choose one it? for me. It's still I wanna be I wanna be that bold. You can right, drink this your root beer. This is red. But I can Wait, survive. They're pretty much but all I'll, red. I'll forfeit. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're pretty much all red. This is red with white spots in it. Okay, that okay. seems like a disease, but I'll try it. Yep. We're only doing one bean, right? 
No, no. We're going to keep going until... No, till, no. Yeah. We go till the I end. I tap out. Oh, yeah. You, okay. All right. So we're down. Then, then there were two. Then there were three. And then there were three. Ooh. The feeling? problem right. is... Tap out, Dad. Tap out, please. Please tap out so it can all be over. The jelly bean gets stuck in your teeth. And keeps burning you. And then it burns yep. in one location. Yeah. The key is to try to keep moving it around. You gotta move I think it, I have yeah. a blister in my tongue. I will say, though, that was not bad. I could do another one of those easily. Oh, my God. Come on. Dad. Dad. Thomas, right. just, just, close, right. just close your... Just get it over with. I'm, I want to try and find the same one that Dad JP just mm-hmm. did, but... That's why I let you pick it. Not that one. Yeah, not that's one. that's not about not the same. That one. Not that one. Guys, that's about the same. Dad, no. Not that <laughs> one. That was the... That's the Carolina Reaper. For viewers at home, that one was the color of death. Uh huh. <laughs> and I'm gonna do it. That's the color of Reaper the, Dead. It's yeah. the hottest pepper. That's the hottest jelly bean in the entire now game. I can't, I, now I have to do exactly. it. Exactly. We don't want him to have turn is, in his man is, card. Just All get right. the yellow one. I promise you, it tastes like candy. Technically, He's they're all candies. Okay, okay so now we've got Dad Thomas, Thomas eating. Dad Thomas eats kimchi all the time. We have Dad this Thomas. This not kimchi. <laughs> I. Oh my God. He is. This is what I got. This is what I got. He's reacting. Wow. He's reacting to the dark red jelly yeah, bean. Just swallow it and just swallow it and that like, he put and switch around with saliva. <laughs> I hope you brought your acid reflux medication with you. Just swallow, just switch it around for life. I can't say what I want to say. You can't. You can't. This is a kids' podcast, no. Dad Thomas. Yeah. Th- this is for G. Willikers. Think of the children. <laughs> oh, fun. Tap out. Tap out. Great. Just no, tap out. I'm good. I'm oh good. Oh my golly gosh. I can do another one. He's going to do another one. Okay. okay. I can do another one. Yeah, so I'm right. sweating now. So after round I'm one, sweating. Caillou, let's rewound this. After round one, oh my God. we have <laughs> three people left. We've got myself, Caillou, and Dad Thomas. I'm gonna Caillou, do orange. Okay, Caillou's taking his second bean. He's taking his second bean. He just picked straw. Did I yep. did I did I tell you that for the second round you had to put two jelly beans in your mouth? No. No, no. Okay, Caillou's done. Okay, Caillou trick here. Right. Caillou. <coughs> okay. Caillou is having right. a reaction. Woo! Caillou. Okay. Are you Those are... no? No. <laughs> Caillou is feeling some pain. <laughs> we, don't, we don't know where he's going. <coughs> Caillou. Okay, guys. I, this is what I am right. This is what I am right now. So I do not recommend this game for anyone that is autistic and anyone that is sensitive in the mouth and tongue <laughs> and anyone that is like me. Anyone okay. Who can taste flavors. What so happened? What are happened we gonna right? go? Let's let's talk about it. Yeah, let's talk about it. What what was your reaction? It's so bad I can't even describe it. <laughs> yeah, it was Is this what we would describe as a sensory uh, unless, thing? No, no, I can't describe it because it's a kid show. Okay, okay, okay fair enough. <laughs> we don't want to. We'll just cut there. So um, that leaves um, the dads that are left over. I think we and should. And I challenge you both to eat the same pepper that I ate. I think that's fair. All right. I think that's fair. And the first person who spits it out loses. Did you? I think you had the one with the little brown spots. No, you? he had no. the orange one. No, he had the orange I, one. Uh, had the you had the orange one? Yeah, he had the, he orange, had the one. orange one because I had the bad I had the one with the brown spots. Yep. Did that you was pick the poor, orange one, That was Caillou? a poor choice on my part. It wasn't the it orange. It was plain red. It was plain red. Okay, well, the, the one that you spit out was, it looked no, orange. No, because it's orange inside. Okay. Yeah. So why don't you Wait pull out. I think that was the, car- the, car- the California Reaper. Why don't you pull out the one that you pulled out or something similar? Do two ones that match. One for me, one for Dad Thomas. Hold on, I'll be the judge. Okay. No. Okay, hold on one second. I am the independent judge. Yeah, of course. Here, I found two matching ones. So how about this, Dad Thomas? First one to spit it out loses. If we both swallow after chewing it substantially, then it's a tie. It's a tie? Yeah. All right. How about this? You guys have to chew it for five seconds. Was that the moment where uh, Caillou's head blew up? Yeah. That was <laughs> great. Awesome. Can't okay. wait. I think I survived. Are you ready? I think I survived six. Ready? One, one, two, one, two three. three. Go. Gotta maintain sustained eye contact. Okay. It's like a. It's romantic. It's a really. <laughs> the worst staring contest. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> this is intense. Okay. There's, this there's, is worse than the one you, I had before. Tissue. Oh, yeah. What is happening That's in my what body? He had. <laughs> uh, this tastes this tastes like lava. That this is what th- what you're experiencing, Dad. This is what happens to me. So now you guys not 
You said it right. You guys are not laughing when it happens to you, right? Tastes like burning. <laughs> See like that? Burning. That's what you laughed at when it happens to me. Okay, okay you guys. Yeah. You know the five second. You know the lines. Set. You know when you're looking at a street in the summer and the lines are coming off of it. Oh my that's god. That's what this tastes like. Okay. Oh. Is I love thing, you like, so much. You take all right. the glasses off. Is that what happens? I don't know. Does I don't it, wear does glasses. Does it fog up? Say, glasses? Yeah, what'd you say? I can't see anything what now. Did you, what did you say? That was intense. What did you say, Dad? That you was intense. I don't even remember what well, I Well, folks, said. this wraps up season one of Caillou Talks, <coughs> as we hope that we're still oh. going to have our entire team to help us create season two. Oh, I think I lost the co host for season two <laughs> and possibly production assistance. <coughs> um, I was able to save our host um, because <laughs> moms, barely. that's what we do. Barely but, um, save our host. Barely save but I uh, yes, I appreciate bye. you all coming on our this journey with us and help. we will see you season two. Thank you so much. See you in season two. <laughs> if we survive. Everyone's so emotional right now. <laughs> if we survive. <laughs> thank you all. I want to thank all of our guests, listeners, and supporters for making this season unforgettable. I want to thank my whole production team, Ian, Matt, Haley, and Ira. I also have my entire family, including my Vavo and Vavo, to thank. And remember to stay tuned to my new season on the Kai Talks podcast, starting in the spring of 2025, with co-hosts, amazing interviews, and even more inspiring content coming your way. This is Caillou signing off for now. Keep up with me on social media and more inspiration and updates until the new season begins. Stay inspired, make a difference, and be yourself. <laughs>